Well, it's an interesting story, not least because it's going to have to be repeated pretty soon. So what happened uh, in in the 90s was Boris Yeltsin, the first president of this new Russia, uh, of course, under his watch, all sorts of terrible crimes, bribery, embezzlement, corruption were committed, his so-called family, uh, you know, and that just does not just him, it's and, and his immediate actual biological family was the clan, if you like, the, the, the Yeltsin clan. They were in charge of a tremendous amount of all the, the corruption and embezzlement and bribery that was going on. So as Boris Yeltsin was getting old, he was an alcoholic. His health was uh, completely ruined by this point. What he needed to do was to find somebody who did not already have power who was not already somebody that he could hand the power over to and say, look, you were nobody. You had no power. You had no money. You had no, uh, you know, anything. I am going to make you the most powerful man in, in this great, big, gigantic country. And in exchange, what I want is safety. Yeah. I want to be safe. I want you to keep my family safe. I want you to make sure no one comes after me for all the terrible things that I and my clan have done. And that's why Vladimir Putin was a complete unknown, because if he'd given power to somebody who was already part, part of the political power structure, the very first thing they would have done is gone after him and his family, put him in prison, because there would have been very good reasons to put him in prison. Um, because anyone who rises to the top in Russia, by the very design of the system, is going to be corrupt, is going to be complicit in all sorts of terrible things. So Vladimir Putin was like an insurance policy that uh, Boris Yeltsin took. And of course, Vladimir Putin is facing this dilemma soon. There's some rumors that he's perhaps not well, uh, et cetera, but he needs to ensure the transition. Uh, and so he tried this with uh, Dmitry, Dmitry Medvedev initially, uh, and it turned out Medvedev isn't really strong enough to hold the country.